Hey loves, it's me Mario, also known as Soul Style Beauty. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching another video. If you are not subscribed already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. And if you are subscribed, I need you to hit that notifications button to turn your notifications on. It's been a lot of people on YouTube saying that the videos are not showing up. So I don't want you to miss a video from me. So I want you to turn on your notifications. So I'll give you a little bit time to do that. Okay, now let's get into this video. So for people who are new to my channel, I've been telling you guys that I want to do a series um, titled The Enemy's Devices. And I'm going to do a few of these videos weekly. So I made a little compromise with myself because I know I'm not good at consistency. But if I plan to film more than one video, then you guys will see two videos instead of one video a week. So that's fair to me. But anyways, I plan to do this video because just looking at Christians as a whole... I don't see us united and it's because the enemy uses us and it's totally against what God put us on this earth to do as believers as a whole. So I decided to come up with this series to really confront some of the things that we're dealing with um, as believers. Even myself, I don't come in front of you guys being perfect at all. I go through my own things. I have some of these problems as well, but we're kind of working through them together. So that's why I wanted to do this video. So um, this video today is going to be talking about pride okay so I just cut this simple by looking up the definition of pride on dictionary.com so it says a high or inordinate opinion of one's own dignity importance merit or superiority whether as cherished in the mind or as displayed in bearing conduct etc um, the second definition is the state or feeling of being proud so this basically makes me think of the parable in Luke of the tax collector and the Pharisee so I'm just gonna read that and that's found um, in Luke 18 verses 9 um, through 14 to some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else Jesus told this parable two men went up to the temple to pray one Pharisee and other a tax collector the Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I'm not like the other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to, the, to heaven, but beat his breast and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Um, and it reminds me of some of the stuff that we, we do today. We, we tend to forget that we all have this sinful nature, and everybody falls short um, of the glory of God, and that's even stated in His Word. What pride does, I feel like, like other sin, it gives birth to other sin. So pride can cause us to be very desperate for attention. Pride can cause us to also neglect other people. Pride can also um, separate us and not unite us as a body of Christ. For example, to keep it real, all the way real, um, there are some people that out, out there that's like, I know the gospel, I, I kind of see how this chick over here is living, and I'm not about to talk to her because I just don't get down like that. Another example could be, I've been sitting over here praying for um, a boyfriend and a spouse, but then yet, she gets it and I don't. Or it can even be the one that God speaks about in His Word when He's like, you're so consumed um, with yourself that even in your thoughts, it's all you and it's none of me. Not that I'm obviously paraphrasing but those are examples of pride it's a lot of situations that we may be going through today and the root of it is pride in God's world you can find tons of verses of him speaking about pride and how it's wicked um, and he doesn't exalt those who are proud but he respects the people who are humble so the opposite of pride is humility so let's talk about humility so I use the handy dandy dictionary.com again having a feeling of insignificance inferiority not proud or arrogant um, modest so that kind of brings me to Matthew 18, um, starting with verse 1. It says, At that time the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. He, and he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you would never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. 
um, and that's the NIV version. But if you look at the New King James version, um, in verse four it says, "Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven." And when you think about when you were a little child, you didn't have you you had no care in the world. Um, like I'm talking about like a small child like you had no care in the world to impress other people because you were too busy playing around and kids are very humble because they, they're still dependent on people to take care of them they know that they cannot do it on their own if you think about it in that way um, God showed us the biggest act of humility by going to the cross for each and every one of us and when we step away from that, we take our eyes off of what he did, he, what he did on the cross. We're basically saying to God that we can do everything on our own, and that's simply put, that's that's pride. Uh, and of course, this is not an act of turning it off. Like it's always um, done in the process of sanctification. But I do feel that we need to focus on praying to God more about the pride and praying that we see ourselves of little importance knowing what he did on the cross for us. Like I said, we are going to be praying um, about everything that I bring up this week and I'm going to be praying for you, myself, and when I break out in prayer, feel free wherever you are at home to pray with me, to pray for the people who's watching this video because we are all in this together. We all um, can face pride and fall short um so yeah so we're just gonna end this video with prayer so just leave all distractions turn off your phones um and yeah let's just get into his presence lord thank you lord jesus just for this day lord god i thank you that you are merciful lord god that you are faithful, Lord, that you love me unconditionally, Lord God. You see my heart, Lord Jesus, and I pray, Lord God, just against the, the spirit of pride, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you keep us all humble, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we fight against selfish ambition, Lord. We fight against the enemy's schemes to divide us, Lord, um, as a body, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that you will just keep us humble in all that we do, Lord, that you will keep our eyes on the cross, knowing that you showed us the biggest act of humility on this earth, Lord God, for going to the cross for each and every one of us, Lord Jesus, someone that committed no sin, Lord God. We thank you for what you did for us, Lord God, on the cross, Lord God, that we have a Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus. We say today that we can't do anything without you, Lord God, that we need you, Lord Jesus. Help us decrease in our own self, Lord, and you increase in us, Lord Jesus, that we will walk, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and we, your, your Holy Spirit will guide us, Lord, will teach us, Lord, will counsel us, Lord Jesus, and all that we need to know, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord, for just bringing us here, um, for just learning more about you, Lord God. And we, we just leave everything that we have going on, Lord, all of our sin, Lord God, at your feet, Lord Jesus. So we ask you, Lord God, to work on us, Lord. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to mold us, Lord God, to take out every ounce of pride, Lord, in us, Lord Jesus. And we help, help us to depend solely on you lord jesus because it is you lord god that gets us through everything it is you that is the source of all things lord god so we thank you lord take out every ounce of pride out every ounce of selfish ambition lord god help us to care about others lord jesus help us to walk in love lord for one another lord unite us lord as a body lord jesus i pray that we don't only care about our close group of friends lord but we care about each and every one of us lord all christians all people on this earth, Lord Jesus. Help us to love more, Lord. Help us to see people how you see people, Lord God. And we thank you for all that you did on the cross, Lord God. We thank you that you are available no matter where we are, what time it is, Lord. That we serve a faithful God. That we serve a great God. And we thank you for all that you are, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.